All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody for taking time on their day. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, again, I, I hope you get something great out of this today. Um, let's start off by our uh, looking at Golden Care in general. If you haven't been to our Golden Care site, it's goldencareagent.com. You should go look at all the great tools that we have. In fact, the last two weeks we showed you how to do a work a lead and referral tool and then we actually went over the tool care options with the guy from Navigate. Um, two really good webinars that are recorded on our site. Um, if you haven't looked at our Corona six pack yet, make sure you take a look at that. Um, it's got a great letter in it that you can redo a little, touch it up, put your letter right on, and mail it out to your existing clients, um, whether they be Medicare, final expense, um, or whatever the case may be, people. Because with the COVID right now, for the first time in a long time, we have people calling us saying we need some kind of home health care or long-term care. And it's not because their house is already on fire. They're actually very concerned about going to a home right now. And they really are looking at it. They've been thinking about it, but this is the thing that turned them over. If you're not a long-term care expert, and don't even really do long-term care, also look at our referral program. It's a great way for you to refer your clients and get paid on them without going through partnership and everything. Um, CSG actuarial strategy, our discounted e &O. Um, We got a lot of great things there. But basically what we're gonna go through today, and I'll explain a little bit of it, Mutual Omaha had a rate adjustment for new clients. Now, you know what? It, it launched in the fall of 13, and they went seven years and eight for some states. That's a long time to go without a rate refresh. So when they did it, it hit it a little hard in some of the spots. Um, if you look at that first batch of states, they all came effective on 9-1-2020, and the second round was on October 19th. But there's still a few states left, so it's definitely if you're in one of those states, you want to ramp up your business and get those uh, sold before the rate refresh prices come in. But we also had to look at the states that did get effective. And you know what? I think we figured out a way around it to really help your clients out and keep them around about the same cost. This is a look at all the states, and you can see the blue were in the first one, the black were in the second. There's still some gray states out there. Um, Florida, California, New York, who knows when they'll ever do anything. Um, but the rest of the states will be coming, so you want to keep an eye out for those. Um, and even the even Florida and California, there's no sense in waiting, because eventually it's going to have to happen. Here's some of the advantage of Mutual Omaha that still sets it apart from all the other carriers. They have that first day built-in cash, and we all know cash is never having to say you're sorry at claim time. You can use that cash for whatever you want, you can pay whoever you want, and you can spend it any way you want. They also have a built-in calendar day elimination, automatic monthly benefits instead of daily benefits, more return of premium options than anybody. And if you really want to get fancy with today's webinar, they have over 69 inflation options to choose from. You can tweak this program to do exactly what you want, how you want it, and keep it in your clients' budgets. You know, they're a great program still. In 2019, they were the number one carrier out there. They wrote over 46.6 million compared to 15.4 written by other three products in our portfolio. And that's combined. So they pay out a lot of policy claims. Best part is they're not one of the legacy companies like Genworth and Hancock and um, all those other big guys that were out there when the product was really priced incorrectly. Um, so they don't have that bad block of business that they have to worry about. They were in the business, they just weren't a big player yet. After we figured out rate adjustments and inflation protection, they got in the market with the United of Omaha. Then 
That business also took another rate uh, in rate refresh when they figured out the gender rating. Today's policies are very, very safe by standards, maybe having a rate increase. In fact, the uh, actuaries said that there's probably a, maybe a 5% chance this policy would ever take a 5% increase. So it's a very safe product to sell today. They played over $1.1 billion in claims. They pay about $10 million a month right now, every month. And they have over $2 billion under management to insure for future claims. So that's why they're an A-rated company with AMBEST, and they're doing everything they can to make sure they're relevant in the market, and they're committed to the long-term care. But you know what? We figured out some things you can do. We kind of basically cracked the code. Remember in the old days when we came out with short and fat, um, after 5% inflation went way out of hand. So we figured out where the greatest premium increases were. And these are the things I'm going to tell you about today. We modified the short and fat. Basically, you got a short and fat 2.0. And we're going to tell you where to start. And basically, give you a, a little formula to get the premiums down. Now, some of you guys I'm working with are, I'm preaching to the choir. But you'll, hopefully you'll get an idea here that really helps you. We also have to know every client is different. Their goals are different. Um, but I think we can help out most everybody like we did in the old days with this new program, keeping it around or just a little bit higher than the old price. And remember, new clients don't always know what the price is. so They don't know they're paying more. Um, but we still want to give them the best deal and make sure it's affordable for them. So basically, the, remember the original design was either a lifetime 5% compound, usually $100 a day back then. Then it kind of moved to like a five-year plan, 4500 you know, 5% inflation. Well, when you do that with today's policy, it gets pretty expensive. 5% inflation kind of got priced out of the market. So we did the short and fat version and saved you a good amount of money. And basically what we gave them was a lot stronger benefits up front. You know, all the way out till 20 years, it's still a lot better monthly benefit. And it takes 30 years, actually, for the long and skinny to pass it. For a 60-year-old, that's out to their 90. Um, past the date they're going to use it. But now we said, you know what, let's go a step farther. What we want to do is take a look at the, the benefit period and the inflation rider. Why? Because on the Mutual Omaha, when they repriced it, restructured it, they got hit the hardest. So if you sell a three-year plan with 3% inflation, that's the one that's going to cost you the most. So we're going to show you here how we, became, we came out with short and fat 2.0. The long and skinny version we just showed you, 11500 Then the short and fat was the three-year 3%. Three and I am using the same policy maximums, and I know in the end that's going to fall short. But I'm going to show you different ones coming up. I just want to show a little different. Uh, show you just the basics of what we're doing here. So now we said, you know what? Instead of forty-five or seventy-five hundred, let's go all the way up to ten thousand dollars a month. Let's go to a two-point-one benefit period because we got a lot more daily benefits. If you don't use it all, it's going to last longer than two-point-one. We can cut the assisted living down to fifty percent because we're over double the benefit here of the long and skinny, we're going to use a 1% compound inflation rider. Again, we're using the same policy maximum. But I'm showing you the strength of how changing things around, look at that, we're about half the price of what it was originally with long and skinny plans. And they holds up really well on the monthly benefit compared to the other plans. So again, I'm going to show you how to be a little more flexible on the policy maximum, too. Again, these are 60-year-old standard health. Let's just take a little closer look. Again, the three-year 
plan, you can see you got hit the most and 3% inflation. So that's a 46.4% rate if you use the traditional plan we always did. Even by going out to a six and a five year plan, you cut it down. This is a little bit of anomaly on the 60 year old female that you actually can save that much money by going to a five year plan. But in general, the uh, 3% three year plans got hit the hardest. And again, for the couples, because there's two of them, they both got hit that double on that. So you can just, that's just showing you a little closer look at what happened. So now let's do that long and skinny and compare it against uh, the new rates and then our short and fat 2.0. This is a single female age 60. The old rates were 48 52, and that was a five-year benefit, 3% compound policy maximum. The new rates went up about 20% on that to 58.08. But let's go short point or short and fat 2.0. Let's go all the way up to $10,000 and put no inflation on it. We'll day near double the benefit, not quite the policy maximum. We actually saved 6% over the original plan, and we're 26% cheaper than the new plan. But let's look at how it works out. The uh, monthly benefit is higher, a lot higher right now. The 10-year benefit's still a lot higher. In 20 years, when they're age 80, it's still higher. So it's going to take them past the 85-year-old mark, probably. And the pool of money stays higher the whole time also. So you know what? You did lose partnership. I understand that on a lot of these states, even though there's 26 states that offer 1%. Um, in those states, you're not losing the partnership either. So you get the dollar-for-dollar dollar asset protection. But for the Wiley veterans that have been out there for a long time, we also know that partnership is a better selling point than it is actually a utilized point because most people that are going to buy a nice long-term care plan when they go through their policy they're not going to spend down their assets and income to move into a Medicaid nursing home to collect on a policy plan or on a partnership plan now there's a lot of people that would um, maybe more we call the near poor um, where it's a very, very good benefit. But for most people, it's more of a concept or a catastrophic thing than it is a utilization thing. So keep in mind, that's a very good way to look at it right here by putting no inflation on it. But we always have to be careful about those people that live forever. So we have another version. Instead of the long and skinny, let's move our benefit out to 8,000 do a 75% assisted living and give them 1% compound inflation. Move the policy maximum up to about 350. We're basically at the same premium as the old rates. And you know what? We hold up very well in the daily or in the monthly benefit pool. And we hold up really well. We're eventually going to lose out in the long run. Um, but we're going to get them to 80, you know, and, and you still have a very, very strong pool of money and a strong concept. Uh, then they say, well, you know what, we do have a lot of longevity in our life. Let's show them another plan. We'll cut the monthly up, move it up a little, give them 75%, and we'll do a 2% compound inflation. That makes their pool of money hold out a little bit better. Their future value of their daily benefit or monthly benefit is about the same. It's just another option. And again, we're trying to show you this is basically exactly the same as the old 2013 rates, but we're using the new 2020 rates. So we basically kept the price the same if you learn to adjust it a little bit. So let's go one more here and show you a married couple age 60. The old rates, 
5,900, the new rates got nailed when you used the 3% compound. And if that would have been a three-year benefit, it even got hit more. So what do we want to do? We want to figure out how to get closer back to these old rates. We're going to, again, because they're 60, jump on that 10,000, no inflation, 50% assisted living. You know what? We're 2% higher than that old rate. I think everybody can look at 2% and say they can handle that. That'll work. In 20 years, they still have a way better monthly benefit. In the first 10 years, for sure, they have a way better monthly benefit. And they also hold their home own in the monthly benefit pool. But let's change it up a little bit better. Lower that monthly benefit to 7,500 and give them a 1% inflation. It's 11% higher but it gives them a little bit of longevity with the 1% in there. It's still manageable. It's still a great plan. You know, you look at your uh, pool of money, your overall pool holds up very well. And the monthly pool, again, beats it for over 20 years, probably over 25 years when they're going to expect to use it. For the people that have a lot of longevity in their family, then we also show the 2%, which is going to raise it up to about 22% higher, but still feasible, still manageable, considering they actually took about a 45% rate increase. You're still saving them quite a bit of money there, 20-some percent, over the new rates, which, of course, they don't know the old rates. They only owe the new rates. So I think you see the drift here of where we're going Let's drop this down to a couple age 55. Um, we'll do the same concept, raise that monthly benefit, but drop the inflation. Again, it takes 30 years till about 85 for the monthly benefit to catch up. But do, do remember any time before that something happens, how much stronger this $10,000 is compared to a $6,000 or a $4,500 for that first 10 years. The pool of money does fall short in this one because of no inflation on it at all, but they still have a great plan that still looks good and it's going to give them a lot of coverage. And it costs the same amount of money, $8 more a year, which is basically 0%. But let's give them the 1%, showing it does raise it up about 11% over the old 2013 rates. Gives them a little bit stronger pool of money, but they hang right in there with the monthly pool again. And they're still going to be inflating 1%. And then they just beat it to death again and show the 2%. It's about 26% higher but it keeps them stronger in that pool of money. So I, I think you can see the trend there. If they have a longevity problem, you have to give them a little higher inflation, but you can still stay away from that 3% um, to keep the rates down. So even though this went up 26%, you're still saving them 20% and giving them just about the same pool of all the money um, getting them out there in the future. So I really like the concept of depending on their age, depending on their longevity, and depending on their tolerance, are they risk tolerant or not, um, you can really design a plan for all these clients and keep it fairly close to the original 2013 rates. Um, if you go straight out and just try to sell the exact same plan every time, you're selling a great plan. It's not that much higher because of all the changes that have happened since 2013. So what is Mutual really doing? They're protecting their block of business. They want to make sure they have a clean block of business so they can stay in this long-term care for a long haul. It's still better than your checkbook have being your plan or not buying anything at all. But there is some people that are, you know, just can't afford the new premium, so we have to figure out ways to serve them. And I think we did a good job there. So basically, where to start? 
the real easy key is just whatever your monthly benefit was on the old plan, multiply it by 1.25%, your policy limit by 1.25%, and a 1.5% inflation. In general, for a lot of ages, that gets you right back to where you started. Remember I said I had 69 inflation options? You can do 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 1.75, 2. So 1% to 5% in quarter percent uh, increments really, really makes it super flexible. Now, I know I went through that quick, but a lot of it was kind of repeat. Um, we did kind of crack the code here. We really have helped a lot of people who said, oh, I get it now, and they're back to selling mutual full-time. It's still the best policy out there. It still has the best benefits. And remember with our inflation, I haven't mentioned it yet. If you buy the custom plan, you have an automatic buy-up option built in. Meaning if you buy any, whatever percentage you buy, any time in your life, before the age of 75 or the first 20 years you own it, you can raise your inflation without showing any insurability. You could go to the doctor and get diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but if you're not on claim yet, Alzheimer's, if you're not on claim yet, you can actually raise it from your 1.5% to 5%. And for the little time you're using it before you actually go on claim, once you go on claim, you have waiver of premium, but now your policy's inflating by 5%. Now, that's not the idea they wanted when they put it in, but when you're selling to the 55-year-old couple that has, you know, two kids in college and five more years on their mortgage, put them in a smaller plan, let them buy up later, once their kids are out of college and they have their house paid for and they have more discretionary income, move it up then. So there's a lot of different ways to work this policy. It's still the best policy out there. If you have any questions, feel free to call 800-842-7799. Make sure you go to our website, goldencareagent.com. There's no sign-in. We have great tools. We have great back office support, great marketing support. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. If you have any questions, give us a call again, 800-842-7799. I want to wish everybody a great day. Have a great rest of their week. And remember, let us be your back office and, and do a lot of the work for you. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Check out our website, goldencareagent.com, or give us a call at 800-842-7799.